Hi, I'm Ryan. I work in the media industry, and I've lived in China for almost four years now. 2021 marks the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Communist Party of China. And during those 100 years, its members have grown from a few dozen to over 95 million strong. Living in China, some of my friends and colleagues are part of it. Now you might be curious, what exactly are these people like? So to help you get a better understanding, I've invited other foreigners who also live in China to go and visit young party members through various careers in an attempt to paint a clearer picture by better getting to know their life and their work. We hope to discover who these people really are. And I personally hope that these experiences help foreigners in China and abroad better understand this country and its people. Famous buildings and beautiful animals. Just incredible. Especially when you realize that each one of these pixels is actually a UAV flying in unison with the others. And this specific intelligent flight control system was developed by a remarkable man and his team. If you stay up to date with technology at all, then you'll know that over the past few decades, China has made some very innovative technological breakthroughs. These scientists keep silent and work diligently on what they're doing. But today, I've gotten the opportunity to meet with one of these scientists who is revolutionizing the field of UAVs. So you can imagine my excitement when I discovered that I was going to get the opportunity to interview one of the top minds in drone research and AI avionics. He recently just set a Guinness World Record for the longest animation performed by unmanned aerial vehicles. His name is Chi Jun Tong. This is the biggest drone I've ever seen in my life. It's so large, I think it might actually even be able to carry me. I wonder what the chances are that Mr. Chi would let me find out if that's true. Mr. Chi? Yeah. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, welcome to our lab. So, so this is where the magic happens. Yeah, we do some drone autonomous control. Okay. Research, yeah. So, Mr. Chi, to, to get us started, could you maybe tell me a little bit about yourself? I'm Qi Tong, I'm 39 years old. I'm a teacher of the University of Tianjin, and I'm the founder of the EFA. I'm now doing the new technology and the growth of the future. I'm a member of the Communist Party.我现在在做的是空中机器人的研发、制造和生产。那么我们希望在现在空旷的空中，能让无人的系统能够代替人去从事一些复杂的劳动，也能够满足我们广大群众对于这种美好生活的向往。所以我们也研发了这种无人机空
，但后来就是因为近视的原因，我不能自己去开飞机在空中去飞行。那么我就想，我从事研发的这样的技术和设备，代替我在空中去飞行。那么其实我都从中能够去体验到非常多的乐趣。What is this for? This is my very、um, important souvenir. Sixteen years ago, yeah, when we. Uh, we, when we do our first experiment with the droids, the droid is very hard to control. We have to use the shovel to kill the droid. This is like a drone murder machine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we prepare the shovel, but we never use it. You don't need the shovel anymore. I'm guessing a big part of that is because the code is finally really good. And more stable, yeah. Yeah. The most difficult is zero to one. You don't know. 不知道能不能行，这个方案能不能行？它没有一个可追随的或者说可复制的一种成功的模式。那个时候是一个是一个在黑暗中摸索的这么一个状态。这是我们早期做实验的飞机，那个时候飞机还有发动机。飞机发动机是非常热的，我们的控制器呢距离发动机很近，经常的这个位置就会把手的这个上面会烫破。我最厉害的一次，整个这一块的皮就被烫掉了。Why Why would you risk that and put your hand in there？ <笑>我看到飞机遇到问题落下来，就第一时间当时想的不是这个地方很热，可能都忘了。我第一时间想的就赶快看看那个那个数据到底是为什么。一次成功的无人机试验是需要反复调试和组装的，而科技研发的过程有时候又是枯燥和乏味的。我需要走在前面，需要克服困难，给新一代的科研人创造更好的科研条件。You see here? Yeah, that is a camera to monitor the the test when. In the night, in the in the day, in the light, in the night. At all times. How long has this drone been flying? More than two thousand hours. We want to get some、uh, perimeter. For example, the lifelong. Two thousand hours. This little guy right here, he's seen all of those now. He's seen rain. Yeah. He's seen yeah, snow. Yeah. He's seen all the weather.、Wind. All the weather. Yeah. Never land you. That's incredible. <laughs> I will show you several. Kind of drawings. Now, these are different shows. Yeah. How, how many different places have you done these shows? Oh, more than one hundred or two hundred. <laughs> I can remember.、Okay. Yeah. These drone shows are just the tip of the iceberg, though. Mr. Chi and his team have bigger goals in mind. They are constantly looking to apply AI flight control. Into other fields like logistics and transportation. Uh, actually, drone gear for people as a tool. This is now just the beginning. It can be used in some research, industry, even some pollution. These kinds of work help people do some things, including flying and so on. I'm now a research scientist, especially I'm working on the direction of research. It's a space machine. It's designed to protect the living people. 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 这架飞机在空中的姿态，在空中的这个状态，就是你所有的任何一个环节有问题，它都会掉下来，它是不可能掩盖任何的问题的。所以我在整个的研发的过程中，在当下就会努力的把所有该暴露的东西都暴露出来，该面临的问题都会正面的去面对。这样的一个思维的方式和我们共产党人实事求是的。这样的一个理念是完全一致，所以我觉得可能实事求是应该是我现在当下自己的一个信念，也是在这个行业或者说我从事的这个领域必须要有的一个信念。
个党员是希望我们能够去不断的发挥我们的想象力，我们的创造力。就是我觉得中国是要未来不断的去往前发展，我们要去研发研究更多的更好的设备。我作为一个党员，我觉得我就应该去走在前面。Enthusiastic and imaginative, Xi Jinping is best described as a dreamer. As a scientist in the field of AI, he has a clear path and vision for our future. These seem to be two sides of the same coin.